welcome to another video tutorial in the previous videos we have learned how we can install r and r studio then later on we learned how we can install r packages and how we can remove our packages so before we can do our first code uh, let me show you how we can view the already stored data in any package so as in the previous videos we have installed ggplot so as here you can see uh, here is ggplot so as here we will click on this one so you can see it has run a code which is library into ggplot2 uh, let's see what are those data which are available in this ggplot2 package so we can simply go to uh, this and we can write data and as it, as you will write the r is so smart so it will give you prompts so you can double click on this as you see as you will double click on this so it will create a double brackets so now we can just simply run this so if you will run this you can see here are the already stored data so here is air passengers bg sales and bg sales dot lead bod carbon dioxide chicken weight dna's so these are already stored data in this r package so what it simply means you can see this is actually the excels file which are already uploaded in this r package so you don't need to i mean manually import your data set so let me show you let's suppose in this example we can see uh, what is bod data so we can go back and we can write like view and as you see uh, when we will write view so it will give us prompt so we can just use mouse double click so and here we can write any data name like bod and as we will run this so you will see uh, here is actually time and demand so we in this way we can see what is this bod and similarly if we want uh, to any other data so we can go back again and we can see the name of other data is stored here so we can just simply this one and write as here now for this maybe we can go to this dns so we can go back again and we can write view and uh, we can write the exact same name dnas so we will double click and press ctrl enter so as here you can see there are four columns here is run concentration and density so if you want to know more about any data let's suppose we want to know more about uh, like bod so we will just write a question mark before that data like we want to know about bod so we will simply write bod and we will place just a question mark before that and we will run this so it will give you the, the detail of the data as here you can see this is actually the biochemical oxygen demand and here are two columns as we have seen time and demand and uh, here is it's required run examples so you can simply place uh, this question mark before that and we can write simple the name of that data and we can run this code so it will give you like here we have just run for dna so as here you can see this is actually the eliza assay of dna so here are the three columns which is run concentration and density so uh, let's view few more data name and uh, we can see so we can go back and uh, we can check here if anyone like here is famous data which is carbon dioxide so we can write view again and we can write carbon dioxide so we can run this code so so as here you can see now it is showing error so here is actually should be the o not zero 
so we can run this code so here are plant type treatment concentration and uptake you want to use this in the form of excel so you when you will run this code so here is that uh, file you can click on this one so it will take you to this file and you can simply copy this all and you can take to the excel for your future use so hopefully now you will have idea that how we can view data and how we can get uh, the further detail of this data so in the next video we will run our first code using any saved example of data